Hello and welcome. My name is Wilfred Ngua. I am an infectious disease epidemiologist and microbiologist. I am also the founder of EpiGuider. We're excited to introduce you to our first ever course on EpiGuider entitled Setting Up a Monitoring and Evaluation System with a particular focus on health programs. In this video, we will be taking you through the outline of this course. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our next videos. That said, let's ride on. This course provides participants with an in-depth knowledge of monitoring and evaluation. Although the techniques taught in this course are of particular interest to health-related programs, they can also be employed to other programs as well. The terms monitoring and evaluation are often confused. I have been a victim of this confusion in the early stages of my career. But don't worry, this course will provide you with a clear difference between the two by making use of a practical example. We will focus on how to set up a monitoring and evaluation system from scratch. By this, I mean from the day you picked up that monitoring and evaluation job in your dream organization. I am sure you are now getting used to the phrase practical approach. So you will be expected to work on a project in the company of my humble self. To go through this course without any major hitches, we will require you to have a computer, a good internet connection, a basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel, and of course, commitment to learning and taking charge. So let's now look at the project we will be handling. This is actually a project I worked on myself and I believe we are going to have some fun while learning. A local NGO, let's call it EpiGuider, carried out an assessment in a country in the year 2017 and obtained a crude mortality rate of 0.81 deaths per 10,000 per day and an under five mortality rate of 1.65 deaths per 10,000 per day, with malaria identified as the major cause of death amongst children under the age of five. Just so you know, the thresholds for crude mortality rate is 0 0.5, and that for under five mortality rate is 1.0. So these values are above the threshold and thus considerably high. Having this in mind, EpiGuider developed a package of health-related activities, which includes a free community and health facility management for sick children under the age of five. You have been engaged to set up a monitoring and evaluation system for this NGO. How do you go about this? Start the brainstorming. While you brainstorm, let me walk you through the course outline. This course is divided into three lessons. In our first lesson, we will look at an overview of monitoring and evaluation. Under this lesson, we will look at the difference between monitoring and evaluation. We will describe the when, the why, the what, and the how of monitoring and evaluation. We will describe the basic components of a monitoring and evaluation system. And finally, we will give a brief description of monitoring and evaluation versus operational research. Now that we have an overview of monitoring and evaluation, in lesson two of our course, we will be setting up a monitoring system for our project. We will be making use of our case study. We will do this by first looking at the key pillars of a monitoring system and then walking around each pillar and setting up our system. With our monitoring system set up, it is time for us to set up our evaluation system, which is what lesson three will cover. We will look at the purpose of evaluation, evaluation questions, evaluation criteria, timetable and work plan, collection of data for an evaluation, data collection methods 
to answer evaluation questions, data collection tools and activities, data analysis, and finally, reporting of evaluation findings. In our next video, we will be looking at our first lesson. Type in the name of the lesson in the comment section, just so I know you have been following. Remember that knowledge is a river and not a lake. So share so others can benefit as well. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be the first to know when our next video is posted. Thank you very much.